Hello. Well, as I said last time, I or I wrote in the comments down below um, that I'm going to get to the award section for the Dark Knight Rises <clears throat> because I didn't get to that last time. Um, almost went on for two hours, and I had a. I feel I have pretty much crammed everything into the last 40 minutes or so because I saw it's approaching an hour and I'm like well, I'm not even close to making many of the points I wanted to make but then again many of those points were made in the defense of the Dark Knight Rises uh, video I made which I will link as well but it's just it's yeah anyway the Academy Awards the Golden Globes this is the only film this is the only film in the trilogy to not get nominated for any Academy Award or any Golden Globe for that matter it got nominated for the BAFTAs uh, for special visual effects, and that was it. It's nominated for Critics' Choice Award for Best Action Film, Best Actor in Action Movie, Best Actress in an Action Movie. Those two awards were not are uh, would would gone to Christian Bale and Anne Hathaway. And uh, Best Visual Effects, Action Film, it lost all four of those. You know, it lost those. It also lost uh, the Grammy for best score for visual media. Uh, but at the AFI 2012 awards, it did win Movie of the Year, where they like rank what the like the they don't really rank them, but they just say list in alphabetical or the best films of the year, and they have a top ten list. And uh, American Film Institute said Dark Knight Rises. It's one of the best films of the entire year. It's worthy of being in the top ten. Again, those awards, um, you know, they're not uh, nominated, or they aren't exactly um, in any particular order, but they go in alphabetical order. Um, they join the ranks of Argo, which won the Academy Award for Best Picture. And Beast of the Southern Wild, which I believe was nominated for Best Picture, and uh, Django Unchained, Les Miserables, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Moonrise Kingdom, Silver Linings Playbook, Zero Dark Thirty, and um, I believe, aside from The Dark Knight Rises, the only Best Picture nominee at the Academy Awards, or that wasn't a nominee, uh, was uh, Moonrise Kingdom. It got nominated for yeah, original screenplay, and that was it. Um, <clears throat> awards it did win won a lot of trailer awards, like they had great trailers. Um, Best Supporting Actress at the Saturn Awards. Best Action Teen's Choice Award for uh, Actress in an Action Film um, for the Teen Choice Awards. Christian Bale was nominated, and also it was nominated for Best <clears throat> Action Film, but, uh, yeah, apparently the, uh, apparently the Best Action Film was, uh, Iron Man 3, because they combined some films from 2013 to 2012, like, there's a certain, I guess, line you can get considered uh, I guess Robert Downey Jr. beat Christian Bale for that uh, teen's choice action actor interesting but yeah nothing at the Golden Globes nothing at the Academy Awards you know even for the Oscars they, for a film like this um, they usually 
get nominated for something in the like visual department or um, uh, some sort of technical award, let's say. And it didn't. It didn't get nominated for any of that. Uh, surprising as it is. I don't get it. Um, I think it was worthy of being nominated for a bunch of awards. Um, whether it would win, you know, that's one's opinion. I would have liked to have seen it won if a bunch of awards if it was nominated. Like Best Picture. Though then again, I've gone and said this was my favorite. I believe this was my favorite film of 2012. Like, I believe I've said that before, but if not, this was my favorite movie. I thought it was the best. Yes, I acknowledged I, uh, Marion Cotillard's at the very end of her dying wasn't the best. But her, her character was the weakest, but she did a fine job acting until the very end. But all that aside, um, still a great movie. Sure, if you looked at Argo, uh, you could uh, see certain, uh, another problem, honestly, uh, of similar stature of that. Like when all the people are like talking about this whole plane, and one of the guys isn't for it. They don't. They're really. He's not really for this. Like, they're going to get caught. There's no way they can ever get out of this place safe. And all that with fake IDs and all. Uh, they just, uh, you know, he doesn't think that will, uh, that, you know, they'll, uh, be fine uh, in a situation like that. Um, I can even say, you know, like, uh, something like that, you know, um, Ben Affleck said something like, eh, or he's trying to like get the dude back. He, his way, the way he said the guy's name could have been a bit stronger. Um, if you haven't seen Argo, you haven't, and you don't know what scene I'm talking about or any of those scenes, and you don't know what I'm talking about, Ben Affleck. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, I probably have to do some sort of. video about talking about that. And, um, but I remember that scene and uh, I don't know, him saying that could have been a bit stronger. You know, um, like he's trying to get the dude back, but it, it just kind of came up fairly weak. Um, but that was a great movie overall, and the reason I only bring up Argo is because it won Best Picture that year in the year Dark Knight Rises was essentially snubbed at the Academy Awards, and, um, you can say that about the Dark Knight trilogy as a whole. I mean, sure, Batman Begins, great film. Um, was it as deserving of, say, best picture or director or anything like that? It's like people would say the Dark Knight was, or even the Dark Knight Rises? Possibly not. Um, I do think possibly Christian Bale could have been nominated for best picture. Or be best actor, not best picture, he didn't produce it. A best actor and all three of these films, or if not all three, the last two especially, because I feel Christian Bale got better each film as, you know, the trilogy went on. Um, I for sure think he should have won in, uh, for The Dark Knight for Best Actor, uh, but again, he wasn't nominated, so he didn't even have a chance to win. Um, I saw Les Miserables uh, that came out the same year, and Hugh Jackman was really good. So in a way, for me, I'm like between Christian Bale and, uh, you know, Hugh Jackman. So Anne Hathaway won an Oscar for Les Mis Robin. Uh, she deserved it. Uh, I was real happy when she won. I would have been disappointed if she didn't win, because I'm like, yeah, she's, uh, she has to win. She's the best of that year. It would make no sense if she didn't win. But... She did, and um, yeah, Argo. You know that was a good movie. Um, I probably put that in my top ten films of the year of two, for 2012, but I don't know where I, I, exactly. Um, 
Yeah, that's not really a bit, but it's one of those things. Like the Academy can't seem to honor comic book films like the Dark Knight trilogy with big awards, or even just nominating them for a lot of big awards. Because their comic book movies are superhero films, you know, they're not true art, you know, they're not this or that or any sort of pretentious, pompous word you could use. And this whole thing of best, you know, best popular film, which has been now, uh, uh, it's been, uh, I think I might have mentioned this earlier, but, uh, or in one of these other videos, but it, it basically the award... It's been, you know, they've postponed uh, giving this award. Like, they don't want to, they don't know, I guess, what the rules are. I guess one would think, what's the best movie? What made the most money? Those are being nominated, you know. Okay, so these, like, five movies are nominated for best movie or best most popular film. It should actually just be best po or most popular film, but because it's the Academy, it has to be it has to be best. It makes it makes more sense for like best actor and director and actress and screenplay and best picture. You know, most popular film would make sense. Best popular film doesn't. Um, I'm gonna look this up for a while. Best most as Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Academy Award for Outstanding Achievement in Popular. Oh, that makes it better. That's even stupider. <laughs> I forgot they did Outstanding Achievement. Like, it's Outstanding Achievement in Directing or Direction. Wow. That's <sighs> middle of overwhelmingly negative. It was seen negative by journalists and academy members and he viewed it as a way to pander to mainstream audiences to uh, help increase ratings the category was uh, criticized for diminishing the chances of blockbusters might have at scoring a best picture nomination the title of you know, da, 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 uh, the title of the category was criticized with popular suggesting well the films nominated in other categories are unpopular or uh, or not of interest to mainstream audiences. Well, many of these uh, winners aren't, so uh, there you go. Like um, the last true, I could say, say honestly, where audiences really flocked to see a movie that would be deemed popular by the mainstream would be Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, back in 2003. And that won the 2004 Academy Awards. Ever since, it's... I mean, sure, you know, popular movies get nominated, but do they win? No, not really. I mean, Argo is a pretty good film, I will say that. Uh, again, not my personal number one pick of the greatest of that year. <clears throat> That's just me. You can disagree. Um, but it's just so... It's, it's just so weird. With some of the titles. Uh, here, let me look at these. Because uh, the Avengers was nominated for an Academy Award. Visual effects, yeah. It was nominated for visual effects. That was the only award Avengers was nominated for, but The Dark Knight Rises can't get anything. Not even editing or cinematography or... Nothing. It's like... I guess... Like, ooh. Apparently didn't impress Academy voters when they first saw it, and I guess that you could say that transpired for The Dark Knight Rises throughout the year, though I would argue that it's the shooting that happened. 
on the premiere. Uh, that's the reason it didn't get nominated for a bunch of awards. Or receive many awards because it was associated with that shooting from some nut job who uh, clearly has problems. Even so, that the, even the doctors, one of the doctors at this, like a, he's like a psychiatric hospital or whatever, before all this happened, the, the main doctor that was studying him said, "No, you shouldn't be released. Uh, he's if there's ever a time where he could ever be." Fine in society, now was not the time. Um, and, uh, yeah, he was let go anyway. And, uh, so the dude clearly had problems. And he got the guns, apparently, like, I guess, the day of the shooting or after or whatever, a notification or something came to the whoever sold the guns to him said, you know, don't, you know, do not sell guns to this man, and, uh, it was like, whoops, uh, a bit late there, uh, apparently in the background check, his, uh, mental history was not, uh, looked at, so, uh, you know, background checks on guns should really be, uh, you could, uh, I'd say improved because of that, uh, but, uh, that's enough of that thing, but basically, I believe the shooting in Aurora was the big thing that made it so this could not get nominated for any major awards. I mean, it was nominated for a BAFTA, yes, but then again, you know, Christopher Nolan, he's British. I mean, he's British-American. He has both citizenships because his parents, were, one's American, the other's British, so he gets both, but still, he's British. Probably why at the BAFTAs the, he, the film received a nomination. The Academy, you know, being in America, when that tragedy happened, they're like, oh, mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, hey, Christian Bale, you know, he he went down and visited the uh, the surviving victims who of that awful tragedy. But no, that doesn't matter uh, you can't even get some sort of nomination of any kind big or small when I say small I mean technical because people don't really uh, care a whole lot about the technical awards uh, I'm not saying they're not important they clearly are but to be honest if you're gonna ask the average person most likely they're gonna care about best picture director the writing categories, the acting categories, so, one, two, acting, okay, best picture, director, screenplays, because those are two separate, the acting awards, so that'd be eight, I would say even music, so there's ten awards in particular, that people would care about, like for song and score. Animated film, possibly, I could see that. Um, the 11th, maybe documentary, if there was a great documentary made one year. Uh, feature film, short, maybe foreign language. Uh, short films, I, I don't know. We're trying to uh, cut down the Oscars this year. And announce awards during commercial breaks. And um, when they come back from the commercial breaks, they'll show, oh, these people won like this award or that award or whatever, like the technical award. So, like film editing, visual effects, costume design, makeup, hair and makeup, production design, cinematography, sound editing, and sound mixing. I think those awards, you know, are awards people don't, the average person does not care about. Yeah, it was eight. I want to make sure it was eight, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten awards particular people do care about, while 
animated film. I think people would care. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Depends on the short films. And the short documentary. I don't know. It depends on those three could be for all well, I think documentary and foreign language film and animation film would be big uh, things people would actually care about because well, there are many people who do enjoy uh, foreign movies and some documentaries but for short documentaries or short films up in the air honestly um, but you know and the Academy Awards also has a lot of uh, like they try to have a lot of humor and uh, people just want to watch the Oscars maybe have the host crack a few jokes or two but let's not have a comedy routine here I mean we're giving awards to movies and uh, you know I know I'm not talking about a whole lot about the Golden Globes but um, the Academy Awards are seen or as are seen as the big awards, the more important out of all the awards. Not really, not saying all the other awards aren't important, but you know. Then again, I guess one could argue awards anymore don't mean anything. You know, they used to, but now it's all political. And fair enough. Um, I don't know if it was a political reason this film didn't get nominated, or even The Dark Knight for big awards, but I think the shooting had an impact. Uh, that's very unfortunate. Um, but yeah, The Dark Knight Rises got snubbed at the Academy Awards. The Dark Knight got nominated for Academy Awards. Batman Begins got nominated for an Academy Award. But this film, I guess you know, while I myself think it's the best of a trilogy, because I think the trilogy personally got better with each film in the trilogy, but, you know, the fact that it got no nominated for nothing. Now, I wasn't expecting Best Picture, because, I mean, The Dark Knight didn't get nominated for Best Picture. Though some thought it, this could get nominated because, you know, uh, compensating for The Dark Knight, which got a lot of backlash for it not, not being nominated for Best Picture or Director. Um, still, with all of that, uh, it's, it's, it's just, uh, it's surprising it didn't get one nomination. And I know I mentioned The Avengers, and Avengers is a good film, but, you know, I think this is better. This is a better film, in my opinion. And yes, I'm bi biased because I like Batman. I will acknowledge that, but, you know, was the Avengers not worthy of its nomination? Yeah, sure. I'm not saying it didn't deserve it, but, I mean, what else was nominated? Uh, Life of Pi, The Hobbit, Avengers, Prometheus, Snow White and the Huntsman. I saw Snow White and the Huntsman. Uh, whether you think that's good or bad, uh, but that wasn't, I don't know, it didn't really enthrall me a whole lot, I would say. This would have deserved a visual effects nomination more than, you know, that film. And, uh, yeah, it could have been nominated for Best Editing. Uh, Life of Pi won a bunch of awards. I saw that movie and I thought it was okay. I wasn't that too impressed with it, but that's me. That's just my opinion. And, uh, yeah. Dark Knight Rises deserved more love at the award shows. But it didn't get any. Um, the Dark Knight didn't, deserve, didn't get all the big award nominations it deserved. So. But they, the Academy has a big bias against comic book films. In superhero films. They just do. They're not looked at as art. But uh, Christopher Nolan seemed to elevate the Dark Knight trilogy. With the Dark Knight trilogy, comic book movies he elevated to art level. He made uh, 
this. He made the films artistically. It didn't try and show off the potentially pompous things one might think of with a film that's artistic. Which helps in the favor of this trilogy, but, you know. That's the Academy. What are you gonna do? And other sh award shows, like the Golden Globes. Hmm. But, yeah, that's really all I gotta say. Otherwise, I'd be talking in circles. And this is the shortest of my <laughs> the Dark Knight trilogy. Well, the series, uh, sorry I did not get to this, you know, last week. But if I did, this would have been two hours. And I don't think people wanted to, would have liked to hear me talk for two hours. Even if it's a movie that they, they like, you know, they may be like, I could have watched this, you know. At home, don't need to watch you talking about it. Which I guess is true with any of these videos, but I don't know. Some people talking about movies is a big thing, so I hope I'm interesting enough to sustain someone for almost two hours with that last video, but if not, I understand skimming or whatever, but um, yeah. This video is a lot shorter, so hopefully I made it through, and uh, if so, uh, I hope you're having a good day. Hope you have a good day, if you see it early today. And I hope you have a good week, and I will see you next time for episode 100. Until next time, see you later. Bye.